What's going on, y'all? It's Eat With Patch Black One. This is what we have here today. We got vegetable ramen. I'm so sorry. And I got my sparkling lemonade water. Lemonade water, but you know what I mean. Water with lemonade. I need this for my electrolytes. Description box will be with a discussion. Also, the ingredients as well. And your boy is back on OnlyFans. So ladies, tap in. I'm doing my grown man business stuff. Just letting you know. Let's get this show on the road. Amen. Man. Long day, long day. Just came back from practice to be real with you guys. I didn't want to practice today. I did not want to practice today. I was not in the mood. I'm starting to listen to my mind and what it's saying to me. You know what I'm saying? And I was really out of it. Real talk, man. You gotta listen to your mind when it speaks to you. And I think because of the altercation I had with me, and my uh, defensive coordinator coach earlier today. I'm just thinking about it now. Like, I was not in the mood for that. I would just in the, I would just in like a period of like just being by myself. And I just got to realize I got to give that moment to myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just glad that I'm grateful and that I have a roof over my head. I'm home. I can just shut it down and reboot again tomorrow. It irritates me, dog, because you know when you give everything you got and I do everything. Play offense, play special teams, kickoffs, kick return, back up, doing punt return. Damn near, if they want me to do punt, I would have done punt too. So they don't understand that I'm only one person. It's so much I can do as one person. And you got all these players, you have 64 players that wants to play and then you blame me because they can't get playing time. That's what I don't get. That's what I don't get. Check me out, ladies. For example, you get up early in the morning, you do your regular routine. You probably listen to some affirmations, get your mind right, and before you go to work, whatever you do. So my regular routine is I get up in the morning. I listen to my shower master just to get my mind to be educated, be more aware of myself and my being and understand my energy and the frequency that I radiate in. You know what I'm saying? So I just take a moment of that. Doing that and understand what life brings 
and understand my intentions and being very authentic with myself. Now, once I do that, I go into meditation mode where I usually will do 10 minutes, but I increase it two minutes now, like 12 minutes. So I was just having my regular moment, feeling good. And I walk up every day, every morning, faithfully. I look in the mirror in the hallway and I say my affirmation to myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I am whole. I am healthy and wealthy. I'm confident. I am handsome. I'm a man of my word. Don't spill, you feel me? Then I go brush my teeth. Once I brush my teeth, I do my regular vlog. You know, when I get ready with me, just, you know, keep myself self-care, brush my teeth, talk on the camera. Don't spill. Then I write my journal. Then I write in my journal and just reflect, say my affirmation, reflect on what happened yesterday and today, what I'm going to do, I set my plans out, what I'm going to do. And this happened to me. Now peep this, y'all. Let me know if I'm bugging. Um, man, this is so good. Hold on, y'all. I'm being greedy. Oh no. I need every noodle in my stomach. Every noodle. I need all that energy. All that. All right. All right. So I'm doing all these things, I'm writing my journal, and saying my affirmations to my journal. Having a wonderful day, and I drink my ginger tea every day, faithfully. This is like a routine. I've been doing this routine for almost 45 to 50 days, going to two months. Well, yeah, two months. Let's say two months. And, uh, feel good and I feel great. Then I got a text message. The person, the coach didn't even say, good morning, how are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling after the game? Or like, how, how's everything? I was like, hey Pat, uh, can I get a do? Can you do me a favor? What's going on? I just want to know if you're doing all right, but I need to ask you a favor. I didn't get that. You know what this motherfucker did? Let me tell you what this motherfucker did. This motherfucker told me on a text. And he didn't say, hey. He said, you will be playing defense tonight. I want you to know that. He said, no, you playing defense tonight. Not saying hi. Not greeting. You won't be sitting on the sidelines getting braced anymore. Listen, I'm pray I'm paraphrasing what this man said. I'm gonna send it, I'll make y'all see it in split screen real quick. But I am paraphrasing what this man said. And I'm going like I'm scratching my face. I'm rubbing my beard. And I'm like, let me read this again. Let me let me just double, triple check if this man just seriously, seriously trying to disrespect me. As a man, it ain't about no coach, an athlete, it ain't none of that. Because now we talking to man to man now. This is 
out of line. Saying like, you're not going to sit in the sideline anymore. You're going to be playing all plays, this and that. Uh, you better get this across your mind. I didn't get it across my mind. When I first got here, did I ever pick up a playbook for defense? No. So how the hell you expect me to play defense and I never pick up a playbook on defense? First of all, I told you this from the jump on training camp. I ain't playing them damn defense. So you ain't kissed my ass with that. Now, I, I had to be political. And I told him like this, hey, I'm all about helping the team with being successful, but we got to find solutions. We got to find some solutions because at the end of the day, I'm only one man doing multiple roles. And I'm not going to add more roles onto my body. I'm not doing that. You got people crying about they want to play and then saying that I made them quit or play on a different team because I'm on the team. Because some of the coaches baby their damn athletes. What? I'm like, yo, find the players that want to play. You got number 11. You got Dominic. Find a player that want to play. You move them up. It's next man mentality. You feel me? Like, that's the reason why you make a deck chart. They've been there. They've been running your system for five weeks now. We're going to play game five. Like, why am I going to worry about all that? I put my foot down. I said, no, I'm not doing that shit, bro. Like, I'm worried about my being and my physical, my mental being. I want to walk again. Man, I want to I wanna get back to where I need to go and handle my badness. So I got there. I know he was upset. You know why he was upset? He ain't talked to me the whole practice except for one training session where they were doing one-on-ones. And he came up to me like, oh, I got it solved. All right, cool. I don't care because I wasn't going to play anyway. I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing it. You have all, you have your own depth chart. Your depth chart tells you which player is up next. And I'm not it. I'm sorry. I'm putting a healthy boundary of myself. I love myself so much. I love my healthy, my health and my mental being so much more. So much more. I don't care how you feel. I don't care if the team feels some type of way. Y'all can kiss my ass. Simple as that. I'm just being real with myself. I don't see nobody doing four or five positions. That's the reason why the damn corner got hurt from the damn place. He did like five positions. You ex Don't you expect him to get hurt? And not only that, you don't have the right training staff to make that guy to be in the top right shape for that type of production. I'm not going to do that for my body. And I'm not even typically in that standstill of playing six positions no hell no that's the reason why that guy got hurt because y'all ran him to the floor i'm not gonna do that not gonna do it not gonna do it y'all let me know if i did say anything wrong or handle the situation the right way let me know in the comment section but until then i'll see you guys in my next one love